Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning, Dr. Tom Corbridge. Good morning. Good morning, Candace. Good morning, Valder. I want my audience to know that Dr. Thomas Corbridge is a medical expert for GSK and a pulmonologist in Chicago, Illinois. And Candace Norris, she's a baby boomer. She's a wife. She's a mother. They are here to talk about COPD. Dr. Corbridge, will you set the understanding for my audience what the acronym means? Absolutely. So COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's really meant to be an umbrella term that encompasses two more specific terms. Uh, emphysema on the one hand, which is a loss of lung tissue or holes in the lung, and chronic bronchitis on the other, which really speaks to the disease's effects on bronchial tubes where they can become inflamed and narrow. And variable combinations of these uh, cause the hallmark symptoms of COPD, which are shortness of breath, with the potential for these intermittent uh, exacerbations uh, or flare-ups. I'm so glad that you said that. You know, people, we get so comfortable with terms like people say for diabetes, uh, especially African Americans, you know they say, oh, I've got a little sugar. So they make it a, a palatable type thing. And people have gotten comfortable. People have told me, oh, I've just got COPD. And I'm going like, didn't that kill Leonard Nimoy? Aren't you concerned? So it is a serious disease, correct? Uh, it, is, it is absolutely a serious disease. And, you know, we're very much, uh, in keeping with COPD Awareness Month, uh, coaching uh, patients to get in early, to understand that the symptoms that they may be experiencing, you know, shortness of breath, uh, may not be that they're just getting older or perhaps have gained weight or maybe feel out of shape, that this really could be uh, the manifestation of, of illness. And the sooner you get in and establish that relationship uh, with your physician uh, and be open and honest about where you are in your journey, uh, the better uh, those treatment plans uh, can be designed. I'm going to switch to Candace. Candace, could you tell me your connection to COPD? Well, I was originally diagnosed in 1996, and in the beginning I didn't take it seriously. I continued to smoke and I continued to live my life as I had, but at one point I finally had to decide that I was going to control the symptoms instead of allowing them to control me any longer. I uh, became open and honest with my doctor. Uh, I let him know where I was at with my condition so that he could uh, develop a treatment program that was best for me. I involved my family. They became my advocate. I developed an exercise program because it, it, it fits all together. It's like a puzzle, and you really need to work hard to feel better, to be better, and to ultimately live longer and enjoy life. That's a great understanding of a pay from a patient. Thank you so much, Candace. You're welcome, Doc, Dr. Corbridge. What are some of the? Uh, how do patients need to bring this up to their doctor? Because all the time the doctor doesn't catch everything. Well, you're exactly right, and so we really hope that that you know foundational trusting relationship between the uh, physician and the patient. Uh, can, can be grounded in open and honest exchange. So we, we want patients to be open, uh, to kind of bring uh, forth you know, the, the truly how they're feeling. Uh, and, and the most important parts of that would be you know, how are they from a shortness of breath point of view, uh, really getting into you know, activities that they're able to do or maybe no longer able to do, uh, and to really report to their physicians about these exacerbations or flare-ups. Those are really important uh, for physicians to hear about because they predict uh, additional flare-ups uh, that may be coming down the road, and those are important to try to prevent because they can cause additional lung damage. So early communication, honest uh, and open communication really helps with crafting the most optimal treatment plan. You've given a great primer for people to investigate on their own. A place online once again for them to go and find out more information about COPD or give them some information to talk to their doctors? Yeah, I think uh, I would recommend going to COPD Dot com. I know Candace has, uh, has certainly gone there. It's a, it's a really nice uh, website that will help patients navigate uh, you know, as they go through this journey. Uh, lots of resources. Uh, they can take you in different directions depending on, on your, your interests and concerns. Uh, definitely help you to prepare uh, for physician visits. So it's, a, it's really a very uh, nice resource. Well, it's very nice of you, Dr. Corbridge, and Candace, to come to the Valder Beebe Show and talk to my audience about COPD. I am grateful. Thank you very much. 
thank you for having us, and I just hope that we're able to reach people to get them to their doctor and help themselves. Thank I you. think you've changed some lives, Candace, oh, by I telling so. your story. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder Beebe Show icon, and get started living life divinely. Oh, 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 oh,